Welcome to Maths with Wong. Today we're looking at how to find a term containing x to the power of six in the expansion of two minus x in a bracket multiplied by three x plus one to the power of nine. Now what's different in this particular question compared to the other easier question is I actually have another term in front. So we're not simply looking for x to the power six term in this binomial expansion. We want to know what happens when I take this and multiply by two minus x. So what you need to plan is to think about, well, how am I going to get an x to the power six term? Knowing I have a two minus x here and multiply by a long expansion over there. How do, it, how do I get an x to the power of six term? There are actually two ways you can get an x to the power of six term. One is you're multiplying the constant two with the term containing x to the power of six. But there's another way of coming up with an x to the power of six term because I have a minus x here and it's minus x multiplied by whatever the x to the power of five term is. So I need to figure out what the x to the power of six term is for this expansion and the x to the power of five term and multiply respectively with the two and the negative x. So need to find x to the power of six term and then x to the power of five term. Okay, well, let's do that. That's easy. So three x plus one to the power of nine. I want to find the x to the power of five term and then the x to the power of six term. So let's do the x to the power of five term, okay? Uh, how do I find out the x to the power of five term? Now you can actually visualize it. You know, the first term is gonna be x to the power of nine, right? Eight, seven, six, five, and you can count that way. Or you can think of it as n minus r is gonna to equal to five, right? because the binomial theorem and choose R, A raised to the power of N minus R, B raised to the power of R. Now knowing N is nine, I'm gonna put in the nine right now, right here, right? I want X to the power of five. Well, the only possible way for this to be a five is when R is equal to four. So for the x to the power of five term, r is equal to four. So therefore this is nine choose four, three x to the power of four, uh, sorry, to the power of five, I meant, and one to the power of four, right? So this term is nine choose four, three to the power of five, x to the power of five. Now, what about the x to the power of six term? For the x to the power of six term, r is equal to nine minus r equal to six, r is gonna equal to three. So if r is equal to three, this is nine choose three, three x to the power of six, one to the power of three, which is nine choose three, three to the power of six, x to the power of six. Okay, so this is the term containing x to the power of five. This is term where x, con uh, the term containing x to the power of six. Now that I have those two terms separately, I need to come back to this question here and think about, okay, so what's happening to those two terms when I expand again? Well, the two is gonna be multiplied by the x to the power of six term. 
and the negative x is going to be multiplied by to the x to the power of five term. Okay. So I'm going to copy the answer from the last page and put it here. Okay, expand in this so that we actually have a number or easier to copy down. And I choose four is 126. Multiply that by three to the power of five. Actually, I'm just gonna write down the final answer. Multiply that by three to the power of five, I get 30,618. Uh, for the other one, nine choose three is equal to 84. 84 times three to the power of six, I'm getting 61,236 X to the power of six. Now I'm gonna put those two back onto this particular slide. So here is six, one, two, three, six, X to the power of six. The other one is 30,618 to the power, X to the power of five. Now what's happening in the next step is this x to the power of six term is match up to the two. So two is multiplied by six, one, two, three, six, x to the power of six. And the negative x is multiplied by the x to the power of five term, three, zero, one, six, eight to the power of x five. Now, when you expand that, this is 122,472. Now, negative sign makes this minus. And combining those two, I will get my final answer of 91,854 X to the power of six. Okay. So be careful whenever there is another binomial in front of a binomial expansion. Many times you're looking for two terms, not just one. You're gonna to have to think about what happens when I multiply this by that binomial expansion. If I want the X to the power six term, there's two possibilities. The constant with the X to the power six term. Here's X to the power one. Well, X to the power one times X to the power five would also give me an X to the power six term. So make sure you do both of them, expand, and then simplify. Thank you for watching.